Hello guys, it's MVC Report for Club 3D. This is the NVIDIA 560 or the GTX 560 Ti Super Overclocked Edition uh, or the SOC Edition um, if you're looking on websites and forums for reviews and so on and so forth. Uh, this is a DX11 card, OpenGL, uh, sports full 1080p. Obviously you can go higher than that, that's just a, a gimmick but if you're using a TV input and it does come into play. Um, 7.1 HD surround sound through HDMI, PCI Express 2.0, so you obviously need that in the motherboard, which you will have you buying this card. Uh, 1024 MB of DDR5 RAM, which is pretty standard now. Obviously, the higher the better. 1024 is a pretty decent amount, uh, so around about 1920 by 1080. Over that, you're going to want more, but uh, uh, as long as you've got a 1080p monitor or below. You're going to be fine, which I guess does go hand in hand with the 1080p full HD support, even though it's not technically meaning the same thing. Uh, with NVIDIA, you also get obviously the PhysX, which is a great, great thing to have. Obviously, things like Batman Arkham Asylum support it. If you've got an ATI card, it won't. You can emulate it or, or, or try to at least on those cards, but it won't out turn out too well. So, obviously, it's really, really nice to have an NVIDIA card. And actually, my first NVIDIA card I've had for a long time now, I moved through many many AMD cards, so glad to be back on this uh, GTX 560. We turn the box over, uh, again pretty similar stuff really, 1024MB DDR5 memory, 256-bit uh, memory interface, 336 CUDA cores, 400MHz RAM DAX, and your PCI Express 2.0 support. Um, your cool features, like the last card I reviewed, does have your cool stream, high performance cooling technology, that's pretty much the massive heap pipes that you uh, see on the card. Um, Club 3 ds own technology there. Uh, Microsoft DX11 support, um, blah blah blah, PhysX, Sly Ready, obviously that means you crossfire equivalent in NVIDIA. Uh, multiple graphics cards, so on and so forth. NVIDIA 3D Vision Ready, that's the other thing. Um, so, obviously, about when 3D monitors were first released, um, it was all about NVIDIA. AMD does have their own now, but you pop a 3D is on your NVIDIA, so another great thing about these cards. Um, NVIDIA Pure Video HD Technology, uh, two dual-link DVI-I connectors, um, which I hope work okay with my 120Hz monitor. Um, they should do, considering they're dual-link. Uh, we'll have to check. Normally is DVI-D, uh, and a mini HDMI port. Uh, also, actually I guess one thing I'm kind of disappointed with, it doesn't have any mini display ports, uh, which is slowly becoming the standard, but I don't have anything that I'm going to need that for, but it may be something you want to take into account when looking to purchase a card. Um, performance wise is the Extreme Edition, uh, and here's the maximum resolutions, 2560 by 1600 via digital and via analog, 2048 by 1536. Um, so all you guys know, you're obviously going to need a computer uh, to install this thing into all those kind of requirements that are relevant, in my opinion, you're going to have more than that. If you're looking at this graphics card, um, it is pretty much a gamer grade, so all your i5s and so on. Um, you will need a minimum 600 watt power supply, I guess that's important to know. Um, again, the green edition I recommend, you yellow, green, blue, yellow being 400, 600, green being 700 and 850. They're the two, if you're buying a Club 3D power supply at least, uh, you'll be wanting to look into. So more specifically, the CSP D700CB or D850CB uh, are the Club 3D power supplies. And I would recommend going with this card. And uh, yeah, let's get this open, finally. So straight in the box you can see Club 3D as in the last graphics card I reviewed don't actually ship accessories. Um, I had confirmation on this basically it's because they found that when or if a consumer needed to return the card, obviously there's always a percentage chance of that, uh, they never really returned the accessories and, and oh, sorry they did return the accessories and they were usually unopened. So Club 3D decided I guess to reduce the price on the graphics card by not including the mini accessories so if you do need any additional ones like uh, sort of DVI to VGA adapters you're using an old CRT 
for example, you will have to purchase them separately, but just check your old graphics card box. You're probably going to have a few in there. So here you've got those uh, recommended power supplies on this little sheet of paper here. Along with all the accessories you can buy on club-3d.com. And we've got a little door stopper there. Um, and how to register your graphics card to the website, I guess, for the warranty. Here you've got your quick installation guide, I'm sure I don't need to run through this, I'll be doing an installation video, but uh, it's there if you're a complete newbie. And finally, we have the graphics card. Uh, go and check this out. It's in bubble wrapping, nice and protected in an anti-static plastic bag here. If we can see how exactly this opens. Already, there's one bit of criticism I have with this card. I'll see in a second. Um, but uh, here's your cool stream cooling, I, I would guess. You can see the branding on top of the graphics card there. But uh, the criticism I have is that the PCB is blue. And uh, quite frankly, not a fan of blue, but a preferred paper perhaps black. Um, obviously, with the black background you can see here on the Club 3D um, banner. I perhaps would have preferred black, but either way, um, pretty standard stuff here apart from the cooling which is awesome. Uh, double huge fans on the on the top of it and obviously the card's not fully exposed which is nice. Um, there is your sly port, similar to Crossfire. And uh, on the front here you've got your two dual link DVI and HDMI, mini HDMI ports. So, yeah, that was quickly the unboxing of the Club 3D GTX 560. Please stay tuned for the video installation.